Yeah, what they are doing, they are now, they are now mixing the the mortar, the grass that we measured is supposed now to be mixed with the soil, which is the anthill soil, the most appropriate and favorite soil in the community. So that grass it has to disappear and is going to work like a cement in, in this soil. Then it becomes so strong. So when it is ready, they will just make it into small molds like bricks. That will be used now to start the construction of the clinical steps. <laughs> Now, the community has owned the project after the training. They know how to make the clean cook stove. It is going to last uh, between two, two and a half years to three years. And the good thing is that when we are not there, the community have to maintain and sustain it because they know how to make it and they are able to repair so that it can last longer than even three years if they are properly maintained at community level. And the good thing is that the women that you see doing this work have really mastered the art of making the clean cook stoves and they construct clean cook stoves in a group. So when they complete clean cook stove for one household, they move to another household. So it actually unites them and it brings teamwork and sustainability and cooperation at community level. <laughs> We stand now, the community here of Chakara are preparing to make the clean cook stove. So basically we use the local materials to make the clean cook stove. That is the banana stem that is used to measure the size of the saucepan. Now we are setting up the foundation for the clean cook stove. So what we are putting here is what we cut from the banana stem after taking the measurements. Now what this lady has just finished doing is setting up. This stem is going to act as the airlet for the stove when it is completed. And this one is going to be the firewood uh, entry, the firewood hole. And then this one is going to be the area where the saucepan will sit. <laughs> So why we are using the force is to make sure that they hold. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Hey, so that is the hole that will be taking the smoke from the main first uh, saucepan cavity to the next one and then the last one that will be taking the smoke to the chimney and then finally the smoke goes out. So the, 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 the reason why you have put the saucepan is basically to measure the size of the cavity hole. That means that once the saucepan is sitting on the cavity hole and the cooking is going on, the smoke does not come out. That's why we measure the size of the saucepan where it is going to sit at both uh, cavity holes. And then that means that when you are cooking, you use the two saucepans of the, of the size that you have measured. This size and then this size. Such that when you are cooking, the smoke does not come out. It goes through its own uh, channel, which is the chimney they have put, and then it comes out that hole. That third hole at the end, extreme end, is going to be the space for the chimney as we remove. Properly as we so this space where we have removed the banana stem, it is going to be used as the, the hole for the firewood during the cooking. And then the other one, when removed, is going to be the inlet for the air. That means when you are cooking, it, it has automatically air that is coming in to light the firewood and then you have heat and energy to cook the food. <laughs> That is going to come out so you can use up <laughs> so this is the real technology of making clean cook stove. Okay. <laughs> Eh? <laughs> 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 <laughs>